Um, so, you know, we're focusing a lot now on JavaScript development, um, more specifically outsourced JavaScript development for mainly UK software companies. That means everyone needs to be upskilling, right? So, so Nathan, you know, Nathan, um, he's never been too strong on the, on the tech stuff, but now he's actually taking an interest. Cool, yeah. So I'm super excited because the guys are finally starting to trust me with some tech stuff. I mean, I have a huge amount of experience with technology. Tech is my life. I mean, I was one of the first Mixit users. Uh, I was a BBM beta tester for years. I've been on the cutting edge of technology up until like 10 years ago. They suggested I start out with JavaScript, um, which obviously I'm so keen. I write scripts all the time. I wrote the script for this video. There's all these different languages that I'm supposed to learn. That's that's cool. I like I did pretty well in Afrikaans in high school. So yeah. So I think to start to start Nathan off small on his JavaScript journey, we we got Max to just do a bit of a crash course, just take him through the basics, um, and and we got him set up on a on his first project. Okay, Nathan. Today we're going to be asking you to integrate with the Yoko Payments API. So when you say make the Yoko integration the API payments, uh, what, do you, what do you mean by that? So first we'll need to get you to acquire an authorization key so that you can, you can pass that key in your header in the request that you make to their API, which will allow you to then do the post and put requests as necessary to allow payments to happen. The guy doesn't understand. Okay, um, okay, let me use a metaphor. So just as an analogy, um, this isn't actually how it's going to work, but it's just an analogy. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be first getting a key. So have you ever used a door before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we need to do is we need to get a key that we can then use to unlock Yoko's API door. Then we can post requests to them, and we'll know that these requests are authorized just as a person holding a key is authorized to open a lock or open a door. Okay, yeah, key, yeah, post, okay, I got it. Hi there, um, I'm looking to get a key made. Hi there, is this a locksmith? Um, hi, sorry, this is Nathan from Dado. I'm looking to get a specific type of key made. What's on your key? Um, so it's an, it's an API key. It's, um, I don't know if you just make house keys or if you make like computer keys as well. And then do you guys do like a gates and stuff? Because I need a I need a payment gateway. I think this is full. Gate, no, we don't do gates. No gates. gates. You, you don't make API keys, eh? Uh, no, no. Okay. Shai, sorry, I, I need some help with this API key that Max is talking about. I don't know I don't know what he's on about. I don't think you need my help. I think you need to build it. That's that's great, but I, he's talking about a post request. I, I don't know what that is. So look, Nathan, there, there are two kinds of developers, right? There are developers who put and post and, and patch, and then there are developers who build, right? And, and you need to decide what you want to be. And, and I think you're a builder. And Nathan, just remember to post, right? Post. Hello, how are you? Good, good. Um, I need to make a post request. Um, I need to send a key to someone. I don't know how I'd go about doing that. Key. Yeah. If I just send someone a key, like how would I go about doing that? You can put it in a, maybe a packed envelope or something. Oh, like that. okay. Is that this one that's going through it's coming from? Right, and that's, that's all I need to do, the post request. I'll find out the deets and then come and do it. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Um, I think uh, I think Nathan needs to stick more to the creative stuff. Um, yeah, I think there's there's winning, right, and then there's learning. And I think today today we learned a lot. 